Well, first quarter GDP was lower than forecast with growth of just 2.2 percent in the first quarter. For more, we're joined by Phil Swagel. He's a professor at the Maryland School of Public Policy and has basically worked everywhere from the Fed to the IMF to the Treasury Department. Professor, uh, thanks so much for joining us. And, you know, going through these numbers, right, you saw personal consumption go up 2.9 percent. But as uh, our economics editor, Mike McKee, was saying, you know, a large a, a part of that was just the fact that we had inflation uh, and business spending was pretty tepid. I mean, this is not a great report. That's right. It's pretty underwhelming. I mean, consumers were there, but businesses were not. We saw the federal government subtract a bit and really getting nothing from the, uh, the trade side, exports and imports balanced out. So it's definitely it's weaker than expected. And the composition is just not great because uh, we can't expect consumers to keep spending if the job market's not there. And it's hard to see job gains being there in a sustained way if businesses aren't uh, willing to spend. So this number then, uh, Professor, says to you that we're not going to get much better jobs growth than what we've already seen. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to see job growth. You know, I expect uh, next Friday we'll still see 100,000, 150,000 jobs. But this might be as good as we get for a while until we somehow break out of the, uh, the, the, tra the trap or the, the sort of uh, muddled period that we're in right now. Well, you worked at the, uh, you, were, you were an economist uh, at, at the Fed. Uh, is this going to change at all the opinion about whether or not we get more stimulus from the Fed? Uh, it's a tough number for the Fed. It's not bad enough for them to say, oh, yeah, we got to do more, but it's not good enough for them to stop worrying. Um, and, and we see the Fed itself is divided, especially between the, the Board of Governors in D.C. and the Reserve Bank presidents uh, out in the country. So we really, I think the Fed is on hold as a result of this number. And, and if the Fed needed any more evidence to stay divided, I mean, you got that in this report. That's right. I mean, there's some hint of inflationary pressures. So the hawks will say, oh, look at that. That's, that's bad. But GDP growth isn't good enough to really boost the job market and satisfy uh, you know, the more uh, dovish members of the Fed. So it's, there's something for everyone, but not much for the American economy. Then going beyond this for, first quarter report, then, what will be the next key indicator or what will be the next key trend to watch then to see where this economy is headed? Right. So next Friday's job number, of course, every job number is important. Sure. Um, the, uh, the uptick in the unemployment uh, insurance claims, the initial claims for uh, unemployment insurance, suggests that that jobs number is not going to be great. We're, we're, we're going to create jobs, but we're not um, into the 300,000 plus territory that's really needed to say, look, this is a sustained and strong recovery. And, and then I look at, at retail sales and consumer spending uh, numbers going forward. You know, but then when you look at these numbers then and then you and you see what we've seen so far in earnings and from these companies, I mean, some we've seen record profit, profitability. We've seen uh, several companies, in fact, the majority of companies beating their estimates. So if you were an investor, you yourself might be confused as to why the economic data doesn't seem to be reflecting the earnings that we've been seeing. No, that's right. Um, and there's a puzzle uh, in addition is that why are companies still holding back, right? What are they worried about? What are they not seeing that they want to see before they let loose on investment, given what you said about uh, the, the decent earnings season? Okay. All right, Professor. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Professor Phil Swagel. Great, thank you.